It's an unboxing. While I do this, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I am on the road to 300, and when I hit 500 subscribers on YouTube, I will do an unboxing. And on Instagram, when I hit 1,000, which is actually pretty close, because I'm at 9, like 40 or something, I will also do, sorry, when I said unboxing, I'm at a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway when I hit 500 subs on YouTube, and when I hit uh, 1,000 followers on Instagram. Also, don't forget to check the coffee in the description, because it helps me cover content. And a lot of times, mostly, just like a little bit, like three bucks, five bucks, shipping, the cost of shipping has gone up. And so um, when I do temp trades, that's like 20 something bucks round trip, like 21 bucks. So it just helps me cover that. Anyways, uh, this is a package, obviously, and I just put my knife away. God damn, this rep is sharp. So <clears throat> I borrowed a ballast song from Mr. Ted Flips, and I liked it so much that I wanted my own. Look at this, EPS Knives 101. This is a cute box. It's like a chalkboard. I was wondering why it was called the 101. Uh, 101, hashtag 101, hashtag Wraith, hashtag Bally Life, hashtag JDBA, which I don't actually know what that means, and hashtag Ballast Song Community, as well as EPS's website, socials. So here it is. So. When I last borrowed from Ted, there we go, I got his EPS 101 version one. Oh, and I got a sticker. It's like a, it's like a business card and sticker. Yeah, I'll stick that on my box. And I liked it, but I wished it had jimping. What if it was purple? So here we go, EPS 101. It's really cold because I just picked it up. It's got a wee bit of scuffing. Just uh, like a drop there, and that's kind of most of it. There's like a, there's like very, very minor stuff. But like, listen to that. Oh God, that sounds amazing. This is on D2 steel, so it can rust. Uh, I'm gonna apply some lube to the blade probably at some point. But right now it's in great condition. Just cleaning out the gunk on the pivots. I need a new brush. Hup. Alrighty, and there's a little bit of play, so I'm just gonna try and give it a wee bit of screw. I finally found my T10 bit driver. I had I I don't even know where it was. I it just like resurfaced at some point. It was just like on my floor, and I said, "What?" All right, seems like the tune is pretty close. There's a little bit. This is used, but I don't think that is the previous owner's like fault. I'm gonna just try and. Tighten the the Zen pins real quick. Just try and see if that probably won't affect the tune too much. But like, seems that like the the tune is satisfactory. But it's not a precision tune. Um, but yeah, this is. Let me see. I I actually really like Channel Aluminum Bell songs, and my collection has increased. Uh, this clocks in at 3.95 ounces, so just under that 4.0. And the sharpness, thankfully for me, which is good for me, it's not too sharp. I don't like my knives to be too sharp. Um, the This is like a Cerakote, I think, actually. It's gorgeous and it comes in black, gray, teal, and purple. It says EPS Knives here um, and the D2 Steel. So the Cerakote helps with the grip as well as the jimping. Let me try and do some ladders. Let me try and do some ladders and not hit my microphone. The jimping is pretty nice. It's like not super deep, but it's with a Cerakote and it's like a decent level like up. The, mm, it's nice and neutral. Heck yeah. Again, these handles are a smidge rectangular, just a little bit more than my taste, but again, I liked the V1 m so much that I was just like, oh, if only there was jimping. And then not only was there jimping, he came out with a trainer, which I was tempted to get, um, but the trainer weighs a little bit less, and I like my balance on this neutral, and I knew that if I got the trainer, it was gonna be more handle biased. Speaking of handle bias, actually, it does actually feel just a little bit handle bias with uh, rollovers. Like, rollovers go almost like a little too fast. But like, I really like this. 
It's really pretty as well. So I might try and see if I can do a handle swap with someone with a teal handle. Maybe. Oh, and it fans really nicely too. Yeah, it's wild because I don't know why like rollovers feel a little too fast. I don't know, but I, I like this, and I got this for a sweet deal. I think I paid it. A, a new one is like 175, brand new, and I paid like 140 for this. So I was like, hell yeah! So for the 175 dollar price range, like I think it's worth it. I really enjoy this. I think this is competitive with the Kraken. It is different. It's it's definitely different. Some people would probably prefer the Kraken over this, but um, I don't know. Like, do I like this more than the Kraken? I don't know, maybe, but I at the same I like the Kraken too. It's been a while since I flipped one. Part of it is also just because it's the Kraken, you know, it's like everyone's like, oh, it's the white bread of the Balasong community. Like, it's a standard for a reason because it's really good. Um, but like, EPS seems to be able to sell units, which is really good. Um, and like, the 175 price range is cheaper than a Kraken firsthand. Um, relatively competitive with the Sirius, which I believe is like 160. Um, and this is a live blade too. It is D2, so again, not the, not an S35 VN, but I doubt Krakens are that either. Most, most live channel aluminum battle songs are not that high blade steel, uh, at least in this price range. Oh my god, like I can Z choker this so well despite its rectangular handles and its slight handle bias. And it's it's really satisfying sound. Like I'm amazed my cat can put up with this. I love you, Mister. Yeah, I can ladder this. Shit. Let me try and do a parabolic. Almost. There it is. Yeah, this is just a really good knife. And so I was really excited to try the Wraith, and the Wraith was honestly not as... I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. Uh, there was definitely a lot of hype. And to be fair, you know, uh, Will Hirsch loves it, and he is entitled to his opinions. He is a much better flipper than me. He also likes things a lot more handle bias than I do. Uh, and the Wraith was like, it was decent, but I don't know. It was, to me, it was just kind of like, sort of like a rep, and, but like, I don't know. It was it was it was good, and now he's. I think EPS is going to do a tie wraith. I am actually planning on interviewing EPS for my new podcast that I'm starting for Bow Song Meet the Makers. Um, so look forward to that. I'm going to ask him about his his design process and his production process because I'm pretty sure it's just one person. Ouch, that's okay. So yeah, that's about all I got to say for the EPS 101 V2. Uh, do check out my, I have the review for the EPS 101 V1, as well as an unboxing video. Uh, thanks to Ted Flips for lending me that. Um, EPS 101 V2 Live Blade. Uh, check it out. I think it's pretty cool, and it's really nice, and it's worth getting. Uh, yeah. Like this video, subscribe again for more, because I will... Uh, as long as everything goes right, I will be interviewing EPS, so subscribe to be alerted to that. And, uh, you know, click the bell. I always, this is the first time I've ever remembered to say, click the bell. I do, like, daily uploads, so. Uh, yeah. And check out the coffee and comment your thoughts on the 101, or the Wraith, or the Trainer, or both, or neither. I don't know. What's your favorite color? Happy flipping.